Under this system, if a defendant agrees to the term set forth by the bail bondsman in order to win their freedom, they are essentially handing over power of attorney for themselves to the bail bondsman. This means that if they fail to appear in court on the scheduled date or try to skip town, the bail bondsman has the right to track them down and haul them in. What are the rules and laws that typically govern bounty hunters, and is it as badass of a job as their job title suggests? Bounty hunting is a vestige of British common law of the Middle Ages. As we discussed in a previous video, what is bail money actually for? England was the place in which the rule of law replaced what we now consider to be more archaic forms of dispensing justice, like determining if your neighbors stole your garden rake by seeing if their head resembled a pumpkin that everyone knew was haunted. Instead of cash or collateral goods, bail often took the form of an actual person, which meant that a friend or family member would put themselves forward as vouching for the person accused of the crime. The same headlines that we deplore every year, the city's shelters for homeless men, women and children are stuffed to overflowing and record numbers of people are sleeping on our streets. Why? Why again? Mary Brosnahan has the answer. It is complicated and I guarantee you will be appalled at what she has to say. Next. Look that Stephen Miller put together in that immigration fight, I think is kind of uh, a metaphor for something else. You know, he started on the fringes of the right when he was out in liberal, growing up out in liberal Santa Monica, and absorbed a lot of the things that were starting to be said about immigration back in, in those days. And then when he got to Washington, he got to Jeff Sessions's office, he started kind of building a network of anti-immigrant, nativist, populist uh, pundits, politicians, people like Tucker Carlson, Ann Coulter, Laura Ingram, Lou Dobbs, and bringing them together into a kind of more powerful coalition that could broadcast and trumpet this message. And in the same way, he was also coalescing a kind of an ideological playbook about the crime that immigrants bring, about the way they depress wages, about how they change the culture of America and make it unrecognizable to the Americans who were born here. So he is in some ways a collator, both of people and ideas, that becomes, uh, I think, very instrumental because when you can give people just a ready-made playbook, um, a, a ready-made playbook that they can just, you know, flip open to and see all the stats that he has pulled together from some very kind of fringe or right-wing sources, it's, it's much easier than having to go dig it up yourself. He was able to get a lot of people on the same page very quickly. Uh, give, give me we couldn't hear you, but I am an expert in nonverbal communication, and it is clear you are in conflict. We're not judging you. This has been a tough couple of weeks. I'm sure the, the stress of the sinkhole has caused lots of soulmate squabbles. Yes, that's what it is. A squabble. We're squabbling. Squabble, squabble. I can help. I'm going to take your relationship and put it under a microscope and dig and poke and prod until you are back to soulmate harmony. Eleanor, why don't she you She never does the dishes. I have to do them all the time. We just have different interests. Mm -hmm. I like relaxing. He likes getting on my case about the dishes. I'm getting a lot of repressed anger. I suspected this when I arrived, but now I'm sure you are hiding something. What on earth would I be hiding? No, 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 not you. Him. Please go back inside. It isn't safe to be out of your home. Please go.